Hello friends, I am Tanupriya. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to do a video on arthritis. Let's begin the video. Before that, please subscribe, click on the bell icon so that you will never miss my latest videos. Arthritis is the breakdown of tissue inside the joints. It can cause pain, inflammation, restricted movement of the area and an apparent weakness within the joints affected. There are two main types of arthritis, osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. First, let's look at the most common type of arthritis, which is osteoarthritis. This osteoarthritis is the most common condition in people older than 40. It's often more common in women and those with a family history of this condition. Osteoarthritis usually affects the hands, knees, hips and spine. It begins by affecting the cartilage in joints, making movement more difficult and painful. Once the cartilage thins out, the tendons and ligaments in the joint have to work harder, which often causes swelling. In severe cases, this wearing away of the cartilage can lead to a bone rubbing on the bone, which may alter the shape of the joint itself. Rheumatoid arthritis, on the other hand, is slightly less common. It often starts to develop once a person is aged between 40 and 50 years old. Women are three times more likely than men to be affected by this form of arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is in fact an autoimmune disease in which the immune system attacks the lining of the joints. As a result, the joints become swollen and painful. Rheumatoid arthritis usually affects the joints in the hands, feet and wrists. Now let's see the symptoms. Symptoms can vary from case to case due to variety of different types of arthritis. The main types of arthritis have some symptoms in common. Joint pain, tenderness and stiffness, restricted movement of joints, inflammation in and around your joints, warm red skin over the affected joints, weakness and muscle wasting. Let's see about the causes. How does arthritis cause? The causes of arthritis are hard to pinpoint. Genetics can be a factor in some cases. Evidence suggests that rheumatoid arthritis can run in families. Lifestyle also play a part. Obesity, for example, increases the risk of osteoarthritis in knees, hips and spines. Similarly, losing weight can slow the progress of osteoarthritis. It can even suddenly strike without any warning or obvious trigger. Let's see about the treatment. Unfortunately, there is no currently cure for this arthritis. However, there are lots of treatments and exercise routines which can slow the progress of the disease. I would recommend you the painkillers and corticosteroids to those with osteoarthritis. But surgery is available for most severe cases. Surgical treatments include joint replacements, joint fusion and an osteotomy which sees the bone cut and realign. There are also lots of supportive treatments available which can help to reduce pain. Here is an example. Hot and cold packs. Applying these packs to your joints can relieve the pain. This is sometimes known as thermotherapy or cryotherapy. Manual therapy. This is provided by a physiotherapist and involves stretching of jaw joints supple. And treatment for the rheumatoid arthritis. For rheumatoid arthritis, treatments focuses on slowing down the conditions, progresses and minimizing any swelling of the joints as well as medication. I would recommend physiotherapy and regular exercise are best. Physiotherapy can help to improve your fitness and muscle strength as well as making your joints more flexible. An occupational therapist can provide training and advice to help you protect your joints at home and at work. Furthermore, there are lots of exercises that you can do by yourself in order to ease pain in your knees, back, neck, shoulders and feet. If you have any concern about these and still you are not able to get a full information from this video, and you wanted to know more about this, please let me know in the comment. And if your treatment is not working good, you can meet a physician. Thank you for watching my video. If you do like my video, click on the like button, comment and share my video. 
If you still didn't subscribe to my channel, do it now and click on the bell icon so that you will never miss my latest videos.